As COVID-19 cases continue to rise, doctors say vaccine immunity might be decreasing, and that's why companies are now working on a new COVID-19 vaccine. So we're taking action for you this morning, getting answers from local experts about what this means for your family and when you could get this new shot. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is finding out how scientists are trying to improve the vaccine. So there does seem to be a, a lot of immune uh, evasion that's associated with these uh, new variants that are coming up. Researchers are seeing more vaccinated people getting COVID-19. It began with a huge Omicron spike at the beginning of the year. We started to see a lot more cases of people getting sick who were actually vaccinated. With even more contagious Omicron subvariants now emerging, preliminary data show the vaccines might not be as protective as they once were. A big concern as another large wave of cases is predicted for later this year. They're seeing a really big outbreak in uh, South Africa, for example, right now uh, with these new BA4 and BA5 variants um, in their population. And they're seeing pretty large numbers of infection uh, that are occurring in previously vaccinated people. To help limit community spread, vaccine companies are looking to create a new COVID-19 vaccine with rollout intended for this fall and winter. We can kind of predict what may be coming. We've been looking at which areas of this thing like to mutate. So we need to think about those particular areas and how to target that particular vaccine. Federal regulators are expected to decide on a new COVID-19 vaccine in the next month or so. I'm hopeful that we're, we're gonna be looking at some recipes that address them all. So can you actually make a vaccine that would address multiple types of variants? On June 28th, the FDA is expected to review data from vaccine companies about the versions of the next generation of vaccines they're testing. The FDA will make a decision about which type of vaccine the company should should make based on what will offer the best protection even in the face of new variants this fall and winter. Health officials say they're looking for vaccines to provide a much longer duration of protection and a higher level of protection. But in the meantime, experts tell us the vaccines we have right now are still preventing most people from getting severe COVID and being hospitalized. They're just uh, becoming successively less effective at keeping everybody from getting infected. In Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.